Hello, Red Fur Group. We are here for your spelling challenge on this Friday. So I hope you have a blank piece of paper and a pencil ready to go. And let's get this party started. Number one is wrapping. I have been wrapping gifts for hours. Wrapping. Number two is lived. I once lived in the state of Arizona. Lived. Number three is wrapped. All of the gifts are wrapped nicely and set out on the table. Wrapped. Number four is living. I am currently living in Truckee, California. Living. Number five is hoping. I am hoping to go travel soon. Hoping. Number six is rattled. The snake rattled its tail. Rattled. Number seven is hoped. I hoped to spend the month of July in France. Hoped. Number eight is rattling. The baby is rattling its toy. Rattling. Number nine is racing. Those cars are racing down the road. Racing. Number 10 is studied. Good thing you studied for this spelling challenge. Studied. Number 11 is raced. Have you ever raced a friend at recess? Raced. Number six is studying. <laughs> Next week, you will begin studying a new spelling list. Studying. Number 13 is appearing. The witness will be appearing in court appearing. Number 14 is traveled. Two years ago, I traveled all over Europe. Traveled. Number 15 is appeared. Yesterday, the witness appeared in court. Appeared. Number eight is traveling. Traveling is something very important to me. Traveling. Number 17 is changing. As we learn more, we are changing the way that we think. Changing. 
And number 18 is changed. I changed my shirt because I spilled coffee on it. Changed. And then you have two bonus words from our book, The Phantom Toll Booth, this week. And those bonus words are quagmire. Quagmire. And peculiar. Peculiar. So that is it for today, Red Fur Group. I bet you did awesome. Don't forget to ask your parents to send myself or Miss Marissa a picture of your work.